Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Fumibi Olawore, a fashion entrepreneur based in Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing a particular outfit that I saw online. I like to scroll on Instagram to just search for designs and see what other creatives in this fashion industry are doing, outfits that are in vogue and all of that. And I like to come on my channel occasionally to share tutorials on how you as well can achieve these designs. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing a particular dress that was made by one of my favorite African fashion designers that is based out here in Nigeria as well, Vicky James. If you'll be interested in analyzing this particular outfit with me, please make sure you watch this video all the way through. Remember to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and you like what you're seeing, like this video, and do not hesitate to share with your friends. Let's get started. <laughs> All right guys, so as usual, I usually have my phone when filming videos like this, I have my phone with me just looking at the design and also talking us through the process. I'm going to do my best to leave what I'm looking at on my phone on the screen for you as well so we can follow along together. For those that are also very frequent online on Instagram, TikTok and the rest of that, chances are you've already seen this outfit as well. It might not be new to you, but this is just my own point of view. And one of my favorite things about Vicky James as a designer is on her platforms, she likes to occasionally give us behind the scene footage of how she achieved some of these dresses just for i guess to educate other fashion designers that might be looking to also create something similar or just for engagement i honestly don't know the motivating factor but i love it all right so let's get straight into the outfit the first thing we see here as usual is her fitting the dress already made on the model and i believe the model here is a particular I don't know, I don't know if she's popular, I don't know who she is, but on Instagram, I believe she's known as Baby Doll. I don't know anything about her, but I digress. The main thing here is that the outfit is already made, the main bodies of the outfit, how the dress is supposed to sit on the model's body has already been made. And here we just see the person smiling, apparently she loves what she's wearing, and I mean, who wouldn't? Next thing we see here is Vicky drawing some outlines on the lap area of the dress and we can see here that she's using taylor's chalk that's why sometimes when i see questions from people asking me oh for me where did you get your fabric pencil from please don't feel pressured to use fabric pencils i know occasionally you see vicky james also using fabric pencils in outlining designs on her outfit especially when she wants to point out where her applique people will work on or her bidders will work on she uses fabric pencil but here in this particular video we can see her holding your good old regular schmegular taylor's chalk and she's drawing out some lines on the lap of the dress after she has finished drawing out the lines on the on the lap area of the dress we see the tailors also or we see somebody in the background doing some kind of tacking work on the side of the dress which i believe is cup chain i believe that whole situation going on at the side of the dress in the waist and the hip area of the dress you just have the person creating some kind of dangling chain beading on the side of the dress using cup chains for this portion of the video i'm going to pause now and take you guys to my work table where i'm going to be showing you how to tack cup chain onto illusion net or any type of net at all as we can see here we have a mixture of your regular skin net or illusion net in color brown i believe it's a is a mesh color that matches the skin tone of the person who is going to wear the dress eventually and we also see some other type of skin net this time in color blue, a skin net that is matching the color of the outfit. We see here that the color of the outfit is like royal blue. Some people might call it cobalt blue, but we call it royal blue out here in Nigeria. You see a kind of tulle fabric, which is also like your net fabric on the side. And we also have the skin tone one. So I'm going to take it to my table now. I'm going to be working on illusion net where I'll show you how to tack cup chain onto the illusion net. I've done a separate tutorial where I talked about how to tack, how to sew cup chain onto fabric generally, but this time we're going to be focusing on how to tack cup chain to illusion net. So let's get straight to my work table and do this real quick. All right, friends, I believe you guys got the preliminary explanation that I made. So for this portion of the video, I'm just going to be showing us all how we go about creating the embellishment work on the net that we have so remember on this particular dress that we are trying to work on embellishment works were done on different portion of the outfit we saw some on the bust area 
on the waist and the hip area as well as on like the lap area of the person wearing it so just this portion of the video is just going to explain how to go about it so for this embellishment you need to dis determine first of all what portion of your outfit you want to create the embellishment on i remember or i don't know if i've said it previously the embellishment was done using cup chain so these cup chains were just draped along different portions of the outfit and then sewn down properly just to ensure that it stays secure on the outfit one thing i found with cup chains is when buying certain types of cup chain especially this silvery type chances are it will change color i've had an experience with this particular one that i just ran out of i believe i bought this from mr okoro or applique streams to go i can't really remember but the headpiece that i used this cup chain for it just started changing color and i was not here for it at all so basically it's hard to tell but Hopefully when buying yours, you buy from a vendor that will probably be able to tell you the truth and explain whether it's going to change color or not. Anyway, I digress. The point of all of that story that I said is when buying your cup chain, please make sure that you're buying one that is of good quality and it doesn't change color after over a period of time. Anyway, so after figuring out where on your outfit you want to make your draping with your cup chain it's with time to mark it and we saw vicky james in her video she did the draping along the line she was just using like a fabric pencil to just create some draping lines i don't even know if it's draping but she just created some lines on that particular outfit so i'm just going to create those types of line on this piece of net that we have here i'm using illusion nets by the way or skin tone nets or skin nets different names that people have for this nets honestly so now that i've done like this for it's be time to now place my cup chain along these lines that I've drawn to figure out the length of cup chain that I need. So something like this. So we see here, I'm just going to, with cup chain, you can just twist it like so and it will just cut. But if you don't want to twist it like that, you can get your scissors and then cut it off. For me, I want to mix it up a little bit. I'm also going to be using a little bit of this, my blue cup chain right here. So after figuring out the length that I need, I think this is fine. I'm just going to cut it off here. Place it here like so. And then get this again. So this is what we have here. Like this. So now to the sewing proper, I'm going to grab my fishing line. If you have the invisible thread, feel free to use. I don't recommend using your polyester thread for this kind of work because we want everything to look seamless you just want to tack this down so i'm going to remove these three first of all remove it from off the net and then we'll start by tacking this very first cup chain onto this first line that we drew here so i'm just going to grab my thread real quick Alright guys, so this is the end result after sewing these three cup chains on the lines that I drew earlier. Please note that this is just for tutorial purposes. Whatever design you want to do on your outfit or whatever it is you are trying to design, please go off and do them. Also, some people might say, oh, sew line by line. I just don't have that time. It's going to take me a lot of time to sew in between each line, but that's another way to go about it. And I'm using fishing line for the purpose of this work i would recommend you use invisible thread the outlook of invisible thread is generally neater than that of um fishing line you can see how here i don't know if you guys can see it, but see how the edge of the fishing line is poking out here and there if i'd used invisible thread everything will be less 
bulky and pokey and chances are if i did this on a, an outfit for someone the inner part of the net will be poking the person so it's kind of it's kind of um nuanced right you need to figure out decide for yourself which one works for you if you know that you prefer the general strength and outlook of fishing line please go off and use it if you know that you like the end result the neatness that comes with using invisible thread please use it we can also see I don't know if I'll be saying this while sitting down or even in this portion of the video. We can see that on the bust area, even though we had um, cup chains sewn on certain parts of the bust area, we still had like some straight beading using broken glass bead in between. So if you want to do that as well, feel free to go off. I'm going to now switch to the other portion of this video where I talk to you guys so we can continue in the explanation for this particular style. Okay, friends. So now that we are done working on that skin tone net and we've already tacked the cup chain onto it something else i'm going to say here is as you guys saw in the clip that i showed us earlier where i was showing us how to tack the cup chain onto illusion net you see that in strategic points on my net i was tacking the cup chain down to the net in this video i cannot say for sure for the portion where we have like the cup chain draping over the hip area of the dress i cannot say whether they tacked in um how do i put it now in specific areas of the bodies or they just tack the beginning of the cup chain, draped the cup chain all the way to the back and then tacked it to the side. I can't really say what's going on in between. So as a creative, when you've made the dress, when you're already doing whatever you need to do, decide whether you want to still tack your cup chain on specific areas of the outfit you are making. Ultimately, all of these are just inspiration, right? You can incorporate some of these tips and tricks that you learn from videos like this into your own designs for your own fashion business. Anyway, moving on to the bust area of this dress we see here that there's a lot going on here and i'm as confused as you guys might be because i don't work with vicky james i don't know where her fashion studio is all i know about her is her presence online so i can't really say what was used on the bust area you know that's like sharp thing i don't know i keep saying it's sharp but that pointy thing that is going on on the bust area it's some form of structured detailing on the dress it's beautiful by the way I don't know now the question now is those sparkly stuff that we have on that thing is it rhinestones that were just like hand you know stoned on the outfit or are they rose monties that were tacked onto the fabric i don't really know but personally i believe rhinestones or rose monties can work on that particular kind of thing like i said i don't know for sure what exactly vicky used for her own outfit and we can't really say but like i said again Rhinestones can work, certain types of rhinestones and um, rose monties. And with rhinestones, guys, rhinestones are also in different grades. I know a lot of people just, just walk into sewing accessory shops and just say, oh, I want to buy stone and the person will hand it over to you. But out here in Nigeria, let me speak for Portacot now, where I buy a lot of things from. When you walk into certain sewing accessory shop, they will ask you, is this Swarovski you want or is it regular stone? The regular stone, of course, is cheaper. I believe they sell it 500 naira per spoon or per cup. I don't really know. Please walk into your sewing accessories shop to be sure of these prices. While the Swarovski is more expensive. And generally, Swarovski stones are more quality, of course, and they sparkle better. If you put Swarovski stones on an outfit, you'll be sure that you're going to be blinging all over the place. So if you're a bling lover and quality lover, Swarovski stones are the way to go. And of recent, I've also heard people say that even with the Swarovski stones, some people sell fake. I cannot come here and tell you now how to recognize fake Swarovski stone from original. I don't really know. And I'm also on a journey in this entire fashion industry. I have less than five years of experience in this industry. So I don't really know much. I can't, I can't really speak to you the way more experienced people will speak. But one thing I've also noticed is that a lot of all these big fashion designers, they actually import accessories from outside the country because they found that a lot of the things that are sold locally out here in a lot of African countries now, they are not necessarily of great quality. One person that I was watching her Insta story, I'm kind of digressing here now. I was watching her Insta story the other day is Harris Couture, Nigeria. She's based out here in Nigeria, in Lagos. She makes dresses for little children and she calls them princes and princesses or Harris and hers. Honestly, I don't know, but Harris Couture, Nigeria, she's a popular designer out here. She was complaining about how she has to import accessories from outside the country because most of these accessories that are sold here they wash and you guys remember when i was making when i was tacking that cup chain onto the illusion net a while back i told you that 
the headpiece that I used that cup chain to make, thank God I made it for myself because after a while, I wore that thing maybe like twice or three times. I just noticed that the silver on it was fading. That kind of thing would be very offensive for a customer, right? If, imagine if I made that for a customer using that cup chain and the customer wears the headpiece once and notices that the cup chain is changing color. It's not cobalt. Those are one of the... I don't know downsides of the business out here in nigeria so basically what i'm saying is a lot of people go outside the country and shop and one place that i've noticed that a lot of people go to is istanbul so now i'm praying and hoping that one day one day god will also provide for me i'll be, I'll be able to also travel to turkey visit some of these shops these sewing accessory shops i kind of feed my eyes and also see what all these our big designers are talking about so probably probably Vicky James also imports some of these accessories I don't know but this looks very very gorgeous again I don't know if it's rose monties or rhinestones but it's just very sparkly and beautiful and we see how everything is draped we also have like this glove situation going on on the one of the arms of the outfit you can see that the outfit is sitting on a mannequin and it just looks stunning she was talking here about how the original model or the person that was supposed to wear this dress could not make it this dress would have also been one of the dresses on the red carpet for the amvcas that was concluded a while back but incredibly stunning basically we also see that the cup chain was also dripped along the along some parts of the glove basically and you see how everything just looks sparkly also another thing that i'm seeing here is on the bust area and kind of like the under bust area in between those draped cup chains we have some straight beading pattern done with our broken glass bead again this our person i was talking about a while back harris kuchon nigeria she also mentioned how she imports her beads from outside the country she didn't specify where she imports from but i'm sure it's probably in Istanbul as well or any other country but Istanbul is a place where a lot of people import sewing accessories from apparently they sell a lot of nice or good quality sewing accessories over there and basically what i'm saying here is i can see some straight beading pattern done with broken glass beads in between and you just see how the combination of all of these things just makes the outfit look incredibly stunning i'm not going to leave a footage of the entire outfit how it looks just picture what it will look like if someone actually goes ahead to wear this it's going to look incredibly stunning that's pretty much it for this video for those that might be interested in learning the straight beading pattern that i'm talking about done with the broken glass bead i have a tutorial on here on my channel i'm going to leave it somewhere on the show notes feel free to click it if you don't want to click it right now you can scroll to the bottom of this video afterwards scroll to the bottom of the description you will see five videos right there that i've left for your viewing pleasure and learning pleasure if you guys enjoyed this cute little analysis this short tutorial in between as well please give me a big fat thumbs up guys please 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 do well to support my channel by hitting the like button also if you're not subscribed i share tutorials on beading on sewing on crafts millinery a bunch of different things relating to fashion on here on my channel so please subscribe and join me share this video with a friend leave your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you in another one bye